everyone, welcome back. I actually love this little setup for my intro. It's just so cute. This hallway is so beautiful. Like at this time of day, the light just floods in. I'm still so in love with my flat. Like it's crazy. I've been here for almost a year now. I moved in um, the day after my birthday last year. So the 17th of September and it's just flown by so quickly and I still just adore the flat so, so much. But I really feel like it needs a refresh just like a big clear out and organize because when I moved in like everything went into the cupboards it was so neat and tidy and organized and obviously just like time and life happens and you end up just like throwing things into cupboards and it just gets less and less organized and more cluttered as time goes on that's just life so um I really feel like I just want to have a big declutter a big organize today and I know you guys love watching organize with me videos I actually put up an Instagram story the other day I think I was clearing out my um perfume collection with Cinderella and I got so many messages saying please tell me you're vlogging this and I was like oops also guys can we just appreciate the necklace <laughs> I literally have not taken it off since I bought it that day um and I'm just like so pleased I did Josie <laughs> is a good influence she's a bad and a good influence um she's an enabler but to be honest with you guys it wasn't like a whim purchase i've actually had this necklace on my wish list for like two years because it's like a staple necklace that they always do it's just a classic piece and i've wanted it for a really long time and she was just like oh just do it you've had such a good year like the launch of your brand you should treat yourself so i did and i'm really pleased i did because i just feel like it's so me also before we start the organization i have very very exciting news those of you who follow me on instagram will already know um but flossy by freddie is doing a restock of the overture collection um i touched on this in my vlog like a couple of weeks ago but i was so like shocked and overwhelmed by how quickly my um collection sold out it was just amazing like the response and i felt so bad and guilty that there were so many more people that didn't get a dress than did i just basically did not make enough so i knew i had to do a restock um so we've actually decided to do this as a pre-order because the dresses are really really special like the designs are very detailed and intricate all of the fabric is completely custom like it's dyed to my exact color that i chose the boucle has to be like knitted from scratch. The dresses take a long time to make, between 12 to 15 weeks, and we didn't really want to have to keep you guys waiting um, that long to order one. Also, um, just because we clearly got it so wrong the first time, like we didn't make enough, we didn't want to make the same mistake again. We didn't want to make too little so people got disappointed. We also didn't want to make too many and then have a load of dresses that just end up going to waste. We really don't want to contribute to that at all. So we decided to open up a pre-order, meaning that you pay to reserve your dress now. We put it into production. We'll give you regular updates via email along the way, telling you which like part of the production process your dress is in. And then you'll receive it in between 12 to 15 weeks. And everything still applies the same when it comes to returns. Like you're absolutely free to return the dress if it doesn't fit within 30 days of you receiving it. You can actually even cancel your order up until the point of dispatch. So basically, if you did miss out on getting a dress from the Overture collection, then I would really recommend going and pre-ordering one literally now because we're going to be closing the pre-order, I think, in a couple of days. We were keeping it open for a week. This is also likely to be your last chance to get a dress from this collection, definitely. Um, so if you want one, then it really has to be now. Um, also, we've just enabled paper I'll pay in three installments, meaning that you can spread the cost of the dress. The dress is £150. Um, you can spread that cost over three months completely interest free. So 50, 50, 50 when you pay it via PayPal, which I think is amazing. And it's also quite nice because by the time you've paid your last installment, your dress will be very, very close to being delivered to you. I'm going to quickly um, try the dresses on for you guys and show you how I would style them in autumn. Because obviously, if you pre order them today, this week, by the time you get them, we're going to be in autumn. Um, I'm not going to try the Nelly on because the Nelly is a party dress it's kind of timeless seasonless but as the Coco and the Faye are more day dresses I'm going to pop them on now and show you how I would style them for autumn okay so for a kind of warmer autumn look like we're not into deep deep cold temperatures yet um I've obviously just thrown a little blouse a little silky blouse underneath the dress um you can do like any type of blouse you want but I personally love one with a little pussy bow because it just totally adds something new to the dress 
stick on a cute little headband to give it that autumn preppy sort of style um nice little shoulder bag and of course some lovely ankle boots um and i feel like this is such a perfect way of styling the cocoa dress for autumn oh my gosh i can't believe i'm wearing this many hot layers in 28 degrees but i really wanted to show you cocoa in winter vibes i think the cocoa is actually very wintry it's almost a little bit festive are you guys getting that? It works so well all year round and that's exactly how it was designed. So as you can see, um, I've got the Santini coat over the top. You could just pop any lovely like light coloured coat over the top of the cocoa, like a faux fur or a wool or literally anything like that. Um, underneath I've popped a little like off-white cashmere turtleneck which is perfect, keeps you super, super warm. Also, the fabric on the cocoa is not like particularly cool fabric, like it's boucle, which is, you know, knitted, and then it's lined as well with cotton, so it's not the kind of dress that lets a load of air in. Um, the cocoa is also designed with enough room in your usual size to layer something underneath, um, so you don't need to worry about sizing up, um, unless you're planning on wearing like a super thick, chunky knit underneath, and you may want to size up. But for something like this, you can just buy your usual size um, and you'll be very, very warm. Then, of course, some over-the-knee boots. There really is nothing else. You could even stick on a little pair of um, flesh-coloured tights if you want to keep your thighs warm. And then just finish off with a beautiful bag like my D&G Sicily. And there you have the cocoa in winter. Also, how cute does it look with a little beret? I just thought, can you imagine wearing the cocoa in Paris? Oh my gosh, I think I have to do that this year. Like, go to Paris at Christmas time and wear the cocoa with a berry. Okay, so now for the Faye dress, autumn edition. I actually love the Faye for autumn. I feel like the Faye thrives in spring and autumn just because the fabric is very thick, like it's a really sumptuous linen that's also lined so it actually doesn't work very well in like super hot weather I mean I actually did wear it on holiday in Greece in May um, but in the evening when it was slightly cooler so you can wear it in summer as well it's just not like a hot weather dress so I've obviously just paired it with my brown Stuart Weitzman over the knee boots and it's literally perfect where it's like an off-white as well it fits beautifully into that autumnal like neutral colour palette that I absolutely love I might be getting slightly carried away but I just feel like also with my neutral Burberry cashmere scarf just to add to the autumn vibes add a little bit of like warmth and layering how cute is that oh my gosh I just love the fae for autumn um you could also just throw a coat on I might just grab one of my nice like autumn capes so here is the dress with my Chloe cape and I just grabbed my Chloe tests as well in the autumn colors um it's just adorable and until it gets like cold cold you will honestly be so warm enough um, in this for autumn um, and yeah I just love it and I love how we can wear these dresses all year round like that was the whole point of them they're investments um, but you'll get so much wear out of them I decided that actually no I could not leave Nelly out although I don't have a bag to show you because I gave all of my evening bags to Coco to choose for for prom I just realized she hasn't returned them um, but the Nelly, I just feel like, is first of all just a timeless party dress that you can wear all year round, but I do also think it can be very, very festive, and this would be such a gorgeous Christmas day or Christmas party dress. It's so sugar plum fairy with just like a really gorgeous pair of sparkly heels. You can go with diamonds or pearls with this dress because we've done both in the buttons. So it gives you like lots of freedom with your accessories and jewellery, which I absolutely love. And just look at the way that it sticks out and the sleeves. And it's so comfortable to wear because we've made them comfortable. Like we didn't want the dresses to be really tight and restricting and sweaty and horrible. Dresses that you just couldn't wait to take off. Um, these are dresses that you can wear all night long, all day long. So make sure you guys pre-order your overture dresses because this will probably be your last chance to get one of these beautiful, beautiful pieces. Okay, so now let's actually get to the clearing out of the flat. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. My spare bathroom has basically taken on a new purpose in the flat, which is a storage cupboard. And as you guys know, I was going to redecorate the bathroom. I've got really big like plans and ideas and things that I really wanted to do. 
but I'm just at the point where I'm like, I don't know if there's any point because the truth is like there are things in that bathroom that don't like have a place in the flat and I just don't know whether it's worth putting loads of effort into decorating it to then just carry on using it as a storage cupboard. Um, so I need to really think about that one, but I think the first thing I'd like to do is actually try and clear as much out of there as possible and see like what the situation is, but I'm not gonna lie, I cannot actually show you inside because I'm embarrassed. Actually, I lied. The first thing I want to do is get rid of these balloons. Um, how amazing are they? They've been there for three weeks and they're still like fully inflated. I got them from Bubblegum Balloons um, because I had like a little small like family and friends get together um, at my flat on the flossy launch day. So they've been there since then. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of like sick of them now, so they need to go. Would it be terribly immature of me? Probably, but who cares? Hey, we can do it! We can do it, we can do it! We can help her Cinderella, we can make her dress so pretty. There's nothing to it, really. <laughs> I should actually keep some of this, like, tinsel, because Cinderella will love playing with this. Although this is actually her favourite game at the moment, it's just a ribbon um, tied to a little ball and she literally goes crazy, like oh my god. And then we like to play tug of war, don't we Cindy? Tug of war! Tug of war! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> she always wins. Okay, I'm going to bring all of the stuff in the bathroom into here because I feel like after that this is the next room that needs to be like cleared out especially like on top of the wardrobes i kind of used that as like a place just to shove things and it's really really bugging me so i feel like i really need to um sort that out as well oh my gosh there is so much here to sort out i'm like honestly shocked i don't know how this was all actually fitting in there so honestly this is all a lot of gifting from brands and then there's just a few other things like things i've been sent that i didn't know what to do with like this lovely basket this is a box of props like stuff that i got for my recent shoot that i'm like okay where do i put these things now like they're lovely but where are they gonna go um some spare christmas lights which i don't need and this random peacock Christmas decoration that I changed my mind about, but then I left it too late to return it. So for some reason, I thought it'd be a good idea to shove it in the bathroom. Oh my gosh, look at Cinderella absolutely tucking into the Charlotte Tilbury serum. I'm serious. I think I need to get this baby like some dummies to chew on because she, oh my God, whenever I have a skincare product that has like a squidgy pipette like this, she is all over it and she loves chewing it. Oh guys, I'm so sad. So um, Neon sent me the most beautiful gift and um, there was also like a shower gel and bubble bath in there that I took out but um they sent me their diffuser pod with all of their like essential oils um to diffuse and they smell like heaven like I've bought essential oils before and these trust me like smell about a million times better but I've just read a lot that you're not supposed to use this kind of stuff around cats and oh I don't know what to do because I really want it and really love it but like there's a lot of information online that's just really unclear and it all just says check with your vet so maybe I actually will check with my vet but if anyone has any knowledge like please let me know which essential oils are okay to use which are definitely not okay to use oh my gosh guys look at this it's absolutely spectacular this is the Penhaligon's fragrance mansion and basically all of these fragrances are part of like one fragrance um, family in their collection and they are literally a family. There's Lord George, Lady Blanche, the coveted Duchess Rose, um, Much Ado About the Duke and these are all um, fragrances in their collection but there's like a little story and then there's a little like trial sample of each fragrance and you can actually buy this. Is it not just the most beautiful gift you can think of? Um, I absolutely love it, but I'm going to give it to my mum because she loves Penhaligons so, so much. So I feel like she'll really appreciate this.
Right, so after all of that, uh, we've managed to reduce it to several piles. I've got two big bags of products for me that I want to keep. Um, very, very lucky, there's so much to go through. I'm going to have to go through my bathroom um, cupboards just to make sure that there's room for everything. Um, I managed to like get rid of a bunch of props, um, some stuff my mum said that I can store in our loft. These are basically just like the telephones because these make really good props. And if I get like some more side tables in the flat, I might just like have them out in the flat as well. Now this gold mirror tray doesn't fit in the box. So I'm going to try and find a place for this to actually have this out on display in the flat because I think it's really pretty. Like it was super, super cheap. It's not fancy at all. Um, but it kind of looks it so I'm gonna see if there's anywhere cute that it can go all of these shoes were still in their boxes so I'm going to get rid of the boxes um, I may keep the Gucci box because it's just so nice but I'm gonna get rid of the Kate Spade box I'll also just show you um, the shoes these were gifted from LK Bennett I've got these adorable pink loafers. I feel like these are such a statement, but they'll be so cute in autumn. And then also you guys are going to go crazy for these. Oh, oh my goodness. I got some more lace up boots. So as you guys know, I've got some like these um, from Zara, but I wear them so much and they're just getting like really tatty. And when I saw these at LK Bennett, I was like, oh my God, I have to get these like for the day that my Zara ones just are not wearable anymore. Oh my gosh, guys, look how cute this looks now. You know, this bit of the um, rail, like the shoe rack bit has looked really like just really messy and not like aesthetically pleasing for a while now. And this is the first time it's looked super, super nice. This is all recycling, um, all of the boxes are literally stuffed full with cardboard as well everything's like completely dense um these are things that i need to put away i'm going to keep the gucci box i think if i can find somewhere to put it um if not i'm going to be ruthless and get rid of it and i also really like to keep um like nice tissue paper and ribbons when i get gifted stuff because i like to use it for presents and then over here i have a big um basket of products to give to my mum that i don't want um she'll either keep them or coco will have them or then if not they'll get distributed amongst you know, friends and family. There was also a few things that she wanted, like the flower garland, and she said that I could put my feather robe um, in our dressing up box <laughs> in our attic. Um, and then this basket, I'm so sad because it's beautiful, but I've just got nowhere to put it. So I'm gonna leave it there for now and see if there is a solution at the end of this video, somewhere to put this beautiful basket. Do you know what? I was just about to run out the recycling and the stuff for my mum to my car. But then I thought that it would actually be really fun to let everything pile up and then at the end, see how much I managed to clear out of my flat and it'll be very, very satisfying. Oh my God, they're so heavy. I'm just gonna pop these in my bathroom though to get them out of the way um, and we'll sort these out later. Guys, what do you think to me putting the mirror tray on the fireplace with like a little cluster of candles? I feel like that looks quite cute. I think it looks nice. I might keep it there for now and see how I feel. Okay, now I'm going to pull almost everything down from here. I don't know if you guys can see like right where my finger is. That's actually some spare floorboards for my wood floor um, that I can't really get rid of. And there's also like the, um, I don't know what you call it, like the tree for the table that makes it longer. So I kind of have to leave those up there, but everything else I'm gonna pull down and we're gonna try and get through it. Okay, so I have two empty boxes, one for my phone and one for my MacBook. JJ basically like makes me keep empty Apple boxes. I have no idea why I think his, it's his weird, strange obsession. I think I can get rid of the MacBook box. Um, the decorations, like the Christmas decorations and my props are gonna be hard. I may just have to live with those. Also, like my hat boxes are obviously gonna stay, but I thought I may as well um, sort them out because I don't think I've been through my hats in ages. Um, and the last thing is this box, which is the box that the previous owners of the flat left me. And I guess it just like has information and stuff in. Um, Oh, really boring stuff, but I feel like I could probably go through it and condense it and maybe find a more convenient spot for it. So, um, yes, I'm going to go through this now. And do you know what, guys? I think I've just decided that I'm going to throw this rug away because I've been meaning to throw it away for ages because it was 
too small when it arrived I ordered the wrong size and it's just gone really like tatty it doesn't even look nice anymore and if I don't get rid of it I'll never buy a new one so do you know what I'm gonna throw this rug away today too <laughs> oh my gosh guys this is such sad times but I think I'm gonna get rid of my wreath that I made at Christmas <laughs> I just can't store stuff like this and the pine is like all pale because it's real so it's dried um I mean it does smell really really good I just feel like there's a wreath making workshop every year with a brand so I'll like get the opportunity to it to do it again I'll definitely keep these lovely um like rose gold pine cones in the fake flowers but I think it's gonna have to go <laughs> oh my god this is without doubt the most boring box of items I've ever actually like touched in my life like what even is all of this manuals and loads of like stuff stuff that my dad would probably say that I need to keep but I oh, I beg to differ <laughs> well this actually went amazingly well I managed to get um, rid of like half of all of those papers and I think these are the only ones that I really need it's just a bunch of like manuals for like everything in the flat and I remembered that I literally bought like this beautiful little filing cabinet for exactly this kind of thing so I'm going to put all of these in here and then all of this like boring crap I'm going to ask my dad to look at um tomorrow um and I'm pretty confident that I don't really need any of it maybe like a couple of things that I can just shove in my toolbox and I'm pretty sure that I can get rid of this box altogether which is a huge huge result okay there's still quite a lot to do in that room but I feel like we need a change of scenes so I think let's head into my bedroom oh my lovely lovely bedroom I always just feel such a sense of like happiness and calm in this room it just has such good energy for me I love it so much and it's not cluttered like on the outside but in like the drawers up here and also my bed drawers um they're quite cluttered and also like my bedside drawers as well so I just feel like I want to empty everything out onto the bed um and have a big sort out okay so here are my two bed drawers on this side um this one is one that I access like every day it's got all my hair stuff in um but it's become really really cluttered um and then this one I keep stuff that I don't like reach for regularly because it's kind of blocked by my um bedside drawer so I have to like move it out of the way um and in here it's just like a bunch of candles and stuff and reed diffusers um and I can't actually see myself getting rid of like much of this but I feel like I can actually put some of these candles out because I forgot that they were here and of course every time I open this drawer <laughs> Cinderella goes in. This drawer is pretty messy but it is stuff that I use quite regularly so I think at the very least I'll just try and at least tidy it. Um, I've got my massage gun which was a great purchase from Amazon. It's literally amazing. Um, my beauty fact little, um, it's really cute, it's like a it's like a mirror and makeup storage case. I've got my GHDs, I've got more GHDs. I have a lot of GHDs because I use them so often. I literally like need spares um, in case they break or if anything goes wrong. Um, this is the drawer that I also just like have all of my hair stuff that I'm currently using to like blow dry my hair. So I just have like some products here, my blow dry brushes, um, these are my GHD unplugged, the cordless ones. Um, I've got this uh, T3 hair tong. To be honest I think I'm gonna get rid of this because it's not bad, like it does create a really nice curl but it just doesn't last as well as my GHDs so I feel like there's not a lot of point in holding on to this. So I think I'm gonna get rid of this. This is my IPL machine which I haven't used in ages, I completely forgot about about it to be honest and um, because I was mainly using it during lockdown um, instead of laser so I feel like I'll keep this but probably put it in here where I don't like need to reach for it as often and then I've got my heated rollers I've got my babbleless ones and then these that I got sent from t3 that I haven't tried yet and I think I'm going to keep these in here because I do want to try them and I think with all the mess I kind of forget that they're there so maybe um yeah, maybe I'll actually remember to try them now that the drawer can be tidier. Okay, this drawer is looking a lot better, a lot more organised, so I'm really, really happy. Um, the only thing is, I was just giving my GHDs a little clean, um, which is something that you really should do. I think people forget to do it, but there can sometimes be like a build-up of um, product if you like redo your hair when you've already like sprayed it or used dry shampoo. So I was cleaning them and I noticed that my gold ones have a little scratch on the plate, um, a couple of little scratches, and the white ones just have like a residue that no matter how hard I cleaned it just wouldn't come off so I'm just gonna leave these out um, and test them like later or tomorrow make sure they definitely still work properly um, and if not I will get rid of them because <laughs> I have plenty 
Okay, now for this drawer, I feel like I'm going to keep my um, gel lamp and all of the accessories because you just never know. Like, it's not taking up that much room. Like, I've got enough room to keep it, so I'm going to keep it. I'm going to pop my um, IPL machine there too. I've got my dodgy, um, like, eyelash and eyebrow lamination kit, which, like, is not that dodgy. It's okay. I'm going to keep it. Um, and also this, which I got from Cult Beauty, which is, like, a facial roller thing um which was quite expensive so i'm gonna keep that too this is like my beauty stuff that i don't use very much i think i'm gonna get rid of my oil diffuser and the essential oils because i haven't actually used it since i moved in and i don't think i will now with cinderella and if i can have an oil diffuser i'd obviously rather have the neon one it's much smaller um than this and it's prettier as well so i'm going to get rid of that um and get rid of the essential oils as well which is a shame because they're lovely but yeah, and then I've got all of these gorgeous candles and reed diffusers. So I'm just going to go through these now and like take out a couple to actually use. Like I really want to use my Roger and Galley um, reed diffuser in here. I think it would be lovely in my bedroom. Um, and then just a couple more candles, maybe one for the kitchen, maybe coconut rice cream for the kitchen. And then I'll use my lovely Erin candle, which literally smells amazing. And I feel like I've always saved it for a nice occasion. And like, there is literally no good occasion to burn a candle. Oh my God, there's actually so much room in here now. That's amazing. It's really nice to know that I've got like practically a half empty drawer in case um i don't know anything else needs to go in okay we'll go in this one first you guys obviously can't see but i will tell you what's in here hmm this one's actually really really well like packed and i don't think anything can really come out of here like nothing has gone in this cupboard since i like put everything in here in the first place so actually I don't think I need to sort this out at all. It's actually very well done. I'm quite impressed with myself. Oh my God, I actually like have a fear of ladders. I really don't like them. Um, okay, let's look in this one now because I do like reach into this cupboard a little bit more. Um, so again, like I feel like this is quite well done. I've just got some bits and bobs um, that I use frequently not much has gone in except an extra hold all and I know I could probably do with a clear out of hold alls because I have three now but I really like them all and sometimes you just get a bit bored of one and want to use another one so I feel like whilst there's room in there and it's not a cupboard that I go in like all the time that's stressing me out is there much point in getting rid of one for the sake of it except maybe this actually um I think this is like a straw beach bag but I haven't like taken it anywhere with me the last few times I've been away, so I'm like, do I actually need it? Oh my god, it's so cute though. Where did I get this? This must have been gifted. It's so cute. It says Freddy on and it has pom-poms and it's like a nice big straw beach bag. That is actually really cute. No, no, I'm keeping that. So basically also in here I have my pink toolbox, which could actually do with a more convenient space, but I don't really have one for it um, where it fits. So it kind of has to go in there, which is a bit annoying. Um, I've got my bricks hold all, which I love. And then these two hold alls, this pink Katie Loxton one. And I think this is also Katie Loxton too. Um, and they're just super, super cute. And I love them. Oh, <laughs> then I've got some beach towels, my gym mat, and um, this box, which has all of like my bikinis and like beachy stuff and like holiday stuff. I don't really like wear the rest of the time. And then in the back one is like, like winter holiday stuff so that's like summer holiday stuff and that's winter holiday so it has like my moon boots my sorrel boots my ski outfit um my ice skates and like stuff like that cool well okay that was easy i don't think i need to go on the ladder again today which is good okay bedroom is looking good now moving into the bathroom cindy loves it in here right now because it's like the coolest room in the flat and it's super super hot um there's like a lot i want to do in this bathroom i've come to the realization that i just don't feel 100 percent happy with it it's very cold and i just want to like warm it up a little bit like i feel like i want to get rid of my bath mats and get like a big nice rug instead and, like just this little softer touches like maybe a curtain i feel like this window even though i love how big and bright it is especially at night time it just feels very cold and a bit like unfriendly and i feel like i want to finish this room and perfect this bathroom before i bother with the other bathroom that's basically a storage cupboard um so today we're not going to go like mad because this is like a separate thing in itself 
but I didn't want to try and put those products away into um, my cupboards in my vanity. And I have like these really lovely, you'll see, um, like white rattan baskets from John Lewis, where I have all of my products, like different things. So one for cleansers, one for moisturizers, and they are quite full, but I love my skincare. And I just like to use one thing at a time. So it does take me like quite a while to get through this stuff, but I do get through it. Um, and then also I painted this old um, cabinet. So this was my mum's cabinet that she had, I don't know, in like her bathroom or her bedroom. Um, and it was gray. So I painted it white on the inside and then the same pink that I used in the bathroom on the outside. And I feel like I need to find a place for this to go, like maybe on top of the tall boy, and actually put some nice perfumes on display in it and make it look really, really pretty. And I also did decide that I want to put the reed diffuser in here and not in my bedroom because I basically had to stop burning candles in here because all of this like black kind of candle ash got on the ceiling because it was like mixing with the steam and we had to repaint the ceiling while my dad repainted it for me um, so I'm not allowed to burn candles in here anymore so a reed diffuser could actually be really nice. So here is my lovely vanity. I feel like this never gets um, as much love as it should because there's only like a small time period where I get nice light in this bathroom and it's very early in the morning so I kind of missed the boat today um, to show you the vanity and really lovely lighting um but it is really amazing i've got so much storage in here so in this bottom middle drawer i've got all of my hair stuff so i keep like shampoo and conditioners and like wet styling products the ones that i'm using like currently go in my bed drawer but these are ones these are basically just storage um this is my perfume drawer and like body stuff drawer um, which again is quite full. I feel like I could maybe have a small clear out of these, but to be honest, I do really like everything. In the top drawer, I've just got like um, toiletry bags, period stuff, contact lenses, razors, that kind of thing. In here is like my everyday skincare stuff, like stuff that I'm actually using now, um, and like a bunch of facial tools. Um, and in here is like makeup that I'm using now because I've got my tall boy that has like all of my makeup stored, but this is like day-to-day -day stuff. It's where I keep my makeup bag, my brushes, and loads of other bits and bobs. Okay, so here are all my baskets of products. We've got um, my fake tan basket here. This is like dry hair styling, so like dry shampoos, oils, um, hairspray and that kind of thing. Um, these are moisturizers and SPFs. These are cleansers and toners. This is all serums. And this one here is all like body lotion, bubble bath, shower gel, like kind of body shower stuff basically. So um, I know it's a lot, I love my products, um, but I'm gonna have a little go through them, see if I can cull anything, pop it in this bag um, and make room for the new stuff. And Cinderella's helping of course. Yay, so I basically got all of those extra products away into the vanity. It wasn't even too much of a squeeze. I'm really, really happy. I did um, clear out a few products um, here. Um, there's not much, but a few things that I can give to my mum and Coco. Um, but yeah, everything's away and tidy. And here is the big reveal of the perfume cabinet. I think it looks really pretty. I do think I need to add a little bit of like gilding or even white um, to the mouldings just so it doesn't look so flat. But apart from that, I think it looks really pretty and it's actually nice to have all of my perfumes out. Like this isn't all my perfumes, but actually it's a lot of my favorite perfumes. Um, by the way, this was one of the ones that I just unboxed and it's the new Miss Dior Rose Essence. It smells amazing, like honestly amazing. Um, so yeah, how beautiful does that look? I'm so, so pleased. Okay, back in the studio now. I look so flushed. I'm actually so hot. Like, it is such beautiful weather. I'm not going to complain. It's wonderful. Um, But now I need to sort out my cupboards. Um, They, I'm not sure they're like, clear outable but they are definitely messy and need tidying up um and if there is anything i can get rid of that will be a bonus but i'll show you inside okay so this is the cupboard that needs like the most major work because i am in and out of this cupboard every single day so understandably like it's pretty messy um it's like my work cupboard i've got my filming stuff down there this is all filming stuff too this is kind of like officey stuff and up there is also kind of like office -y stuff as well. Um, and because this um, 
shelf is really high like I can't actually reach it properly like the back of it without a ladder um I tend to just like throw things up there and think I'll sort it out another time and that time is now oh guys I'm so embarrassed this is so un Virgo of me um but this is my like laundry linen cupboard um so all of those blankets I'm actually not responsible for this I will just say I always put my blankets back nicely I think this was my mum and Coco when they came to like babysit Cinderella or something and they took a blanket and just didn't put anything back properly just squished it in so I'm going to redo that and then up here like I think it's all stuff I need it's like my iron and my steamer and a couple of bags and spare bedding and stuff but it can just be organized a lot better than this um and then down here I actually can't show you but I'm going to um so that's my laundry basket which is fine <gasps> but this whole pile of clothes really shouldn't be there this is stuff that I've cleared out that I was supposed to depop and I honestly have not had time oh and I forgot to show you before but I actually also cleared out like a lot of hats like honestly half my hats because I just don't wear them and I'm not gonna keep stuff that I don't wear um I still have quite a lot of like berries and um bobbly hats but these are just surplus and I don't need them I never wear these like fedora style hats they're just not my style um and then the straw hats as well I just feel like I've got nicer ones recently so I don't need all of them <laughs> Okay, I'm so super organized, I'm thrilled. This filing cabinet is amazing. There's literally everything in here that I could ever need to reference. There's like car stuff, car insurance and MOTs and services, like everything to do with my car, um, bank stuff, NHS stuff, like health things, um, what else? All the utilities um, for the flat and the manuals for stuff in the flat, like everything I ever need will always be in here. This is all of Cinderella's stuff and then I thought I'd just show you this because it's so cute and so Virgo of me. I've got this whole folder that's literally full of stuff for the flat. Like obviously if you have bought property you know there is so much that goes into it. There's so much paperwork and I just decided to keep everything in this cute pink folder but like when it was all happening I made myself this little calendar of events and there's like I think it went on for four months and I used to like fill in everything that was happening and I was just so excited and then me and my dad made these little labels so we had like one for the estate agent, solicitor stuff, bank and mortgage and there's literally everything in here and then in these two trays um it's just stuff that like I need but I don't use a lot like I've got my passport um an extension cable all bits and bobs but guys this is so tragic but I think it's finally time to throw the fan in the bin it's so sad but it doesn't work anymore i tried desperately to even like find a replacement battery but it's like some weird battery that you can't buy i now have a new fan which is oh, it's better than this one and it's just a piece of plastic at this point it needs to go but i think we can all just give it a lovely send off now let's all blow it a kiss and just say thank you fan for the good times and then in this tray is all like gift wrap and cards and postage bags and it's absolute chaos because i just throw things in there so I will just give this a little tidy up now as well. Oh my gosh, look how heavenly and orderly this shelf is now. Is that not just like the best feeling ever? Okay, so the next shelf was basically um, made up 80% of notebooks because I have a really strange um, notebook obsession and my really lovely um, like book boxes that you guys might remember from my old room. Um, so in this one was just a bunch of notebooks as well um, and I actually managed to cull a few notebooks which is very unlike me but I was just very ruthless. Um, the first one was quite easy because it's a 2021 diary. This is my friend's, my friend Kat's brand, The Inspired Stories. It's so beautiful and um, obviously it's old now um, but I am going to keep the lovely stickers that came with it um, and then just a few notebooks that are old that are kind of like half full and I feel like I if I start a new notebook I don't want to go back to like a half written notebook so I should just get rid of them so these are the notebooks that I'm keeping yes all of my notebooks are pink um, and the notebooks in here as well I also had this Smithson box and inside is 
I mean, try not to have a heart attack and die. A blue notebook. And it does say FCB on, and Smithson is a really nice brand, so, and it was obviously a gift, I can't remember from who. So I feel like I should keep this, maybe for the future me who would like a blue notebook. I've also got all of these really lovely, like, note cards, um, and thank you cards as well, so I feel like these can all go in here as well, and will just be neatly away. Um, these boxes, this top one, I used to put in all of, like, my return receipts when I, like, return stuff to stores um just in case like the return doesn't go through but it's literally full and they're probably like three years old so i'm just going to quickly go through these and throw anything away that's like longer than a year old or like six months and then this one um it's a bit discolored now it's so sad um but it's full of like receipts from when i was doing my flat so like home base and travis perkins and b&q and all of that stuff and i'm like gosh i don't actually need this anymore like i was planning on keeping really good track of everything and i kind of did i made like a cost spreadsheet of how much everything was costing me but like it's over now, it doesn't really matter anymore. So I think I could just get rid of all of these and then free up this entire box for storage. Okay, now that's empty, I can put away all of this, like all of these disposable cameras. I was gonna throw them away, but they're actually really cute. And like, I don't know, you just never know when you might want to use it. I kind of wish that I'd taken more Polaroids on my flossy shoot, but I feel like maybe on the next flossy shoot, I can take one of these cameras and just use up all of this film. There's no point throwing it away. So the cameras aren't gonna fit, but I can put like all of this stuff in, because um, before it was just loose in the cupboard, um, whereas now that's a bit more organized at least. And then the only things left on this shelf are these two boxes, which are like my kind of garment care stuff, um, like my bobble off and leather cleaner and suede protector and all that fun stuff. Um, and in here is my button tin, um, some tape measures and just other little bits and bobs um, that I like to keep handy and I keep them in these beautiful Galan boxes. Then I've got this box which I keep all of my receipts in and all of my like highlighters and my stapler and all of that stuff that I use to do like my tax and VAT return. And then I've also got this Google Nest. Thing that JJ gave me. I'm pretty sure he got it free, like from EE or something. So he gave it to me, but I haven't even taken out of the plastic. So I'm gonna see if he wants it back or maybe if Coco or my dad want it. Um, but yeah, I don't think I need to keep this. It's just not really my thing. Oh, this is just beyond beautiful to me. So organized, so pink. I'm beyond thrilled. This is such a good exercise to like clear the mind clear all your cupboards out, have a big curl, get rid of all the rubbish, it's the best feeling. And the next cupboard along, also looking a lot tidier, I just tidied up the blankets, um, hopefully I'm going to be able to get rid of that big black box um, in a few days. They're actually my old flossy samples, but I'm going to see if I can get them stored somewhere else because that box takes up quite a lot of room. Um, and then I just tidied up that pile of clothes as well and the hangers and everything got rid of the bags um so that's looking a lot more orderly as well and hopefully it'll be a little bit less intimidating to me when i look at it so i can maybe hopefully get around to actually doing the depop soon i also managed to fit the garland from this box and the liberty box in this wardrobe so that i can throw this box away and now there is literally nothing on top of the wardrobe except that box over there behind the hat boxes and the spare floorboards so that looks literally a million times better oh my gosh guys i am getting exhausted by this it's so so tiring so luckily there's nothing really to clear out in my lounge because there's no storage and i tidy it every day so um there's nothing to do here which is a big relief so i think we should move on um lastly to the kitchen oh the kitchen so so lovely but definitely starting to get a little bit cluttered and i really want to sort it out today so the main areas of concern it's nothing like in the drawers or cupboards the drawers and cupboards are all really good really organized but it's just everything that's out like i have an abundance of champagne <laughs> and i don't really drink it but i just want to like save it for a special occasion and i thought we'd drink it all at my um flossy party but we didn't and i had rosé as well mirabeau sent me like 10 bottles of rosé so i've just got an abundance of alcohol that i don't really drink but i want to keep for occasions. I've also got these two gorgeous baskets. This one was from gifting earlier that I unboxed and this is from like some gifting um, a few weeks ago and they're both so pretty but I literally have nowhere to put them. And my mum actually suggested to me that I pick one, put all of my champagne bottles in there, like display them nicely 
and put them on top of the fridge which would mean getting rid of my woven ball which to be honest I kind of wanted to get rid of anyway because even though it's gorgeous it just doesn't really go with the vibe of this kitchen um so I feel like this could really go to a better home i also want to come up with a better solution for this corner of the kitchen which is like where i keep cinderella's food um because it's all fun and games when like you have a kitten but actually for the long term i'm like no i'm sick of all of this food being out it's not pretty like, this bag is huge it's ridiculous i ordered it online and did not know it would be that big um so i thought about first of all putting some biscuits in here but there's not going to be anywhere enough room so i just wondered would it be absolutely crazy to put some biscuits in there just because I've had this for ages, I bought it god knows from where, maybe Ikea by the looks of it, um, because I thought it was pretty and it's just been sat there at the back, like empty, literally since I moved in. So I was wondering if I could maybe put like some biscuits in here and then just when I want to feed her, like pour them out like this. I mean, it's quite like a bougie biscuit tin, but hey. Um, and then I can just keep the rest of the bag in the bathroom for now, like the spare bathroom. And in future, I'll just buy smaller bags. I'm gonna do it and see what it looks like. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm going to do something extremely smart. I'm going to put it through the funnel. How clever am I? Woo! Oh my god. Ooh, they stink. Okay, to be honest, I'm not sure if that looks better or worse than the pink bag. <laughs> what do you guys think? I suppose it's quite hidden away. It just goes like behind the microwave and you don't really see it. I think I'm going to go with it for a bit um, and see how I feel. This bag is absolutely ridiculous. Like, it's so big. I'm going to have to go and put this in the spare bathroom. Um, but yeah, I feel like that's a decent solution for the minute. And then I've just got some of these um, other biscuits, these Lily's Kitchen ones. They actually, um, I think they actually made her sick, but I think it's because JJ gave her too many when I was away. So I'm just gonna put the rest of these in this little tub and then get rid of the bag. Oh my gosh, that actually looks so much better, even though it's a bit weird in the decanter. Um, and then I can just pop her um, sachet that she's eating that day there. Okay, before I put the champagne in the basket, I need to decide which basket to use. And I like, I really can't tell which will look nicer. Okay, option one is the white basket. Need to have a look on the camera. Okay, so there's that. Or the proper coloured wicker basket. Hmm. I don't know if I like either. I need to take a picture of them and send it to my mum. Because she will know. I feel like the obvious choice is the white one because the kitchen is white, but the kitchen is not white, the kitchen is cream. So I'm like, does it look odd because it's not the right shade? Right, we will have to wait for a response from Tickled Pink in London for her expertise. Meanwhile, let's clear out the cupboard that you are currently sat in. So I know I said the cupboards were okay, but I just meant except this one. This one is really cluttered. So yeah, I really need to clear this out. First of all, I'm not even sure why I have two brooms. Like who needs two brooms? One is flowery and pretty and one is ugly. So we're definitely just gonna get rid of the ugly broom. I actually think I'm going to get rid of this pink vase because it looks kind of nice on camera, but it's not the pink that I thought it would be when I ordered it. Um, it's a lot peachier and it doesn't actually really go properly in any room. Um, and this one, one is much nicer with the flowers and the pink like goes with my lounge colors whereas this kind of doesn't so it's really cute but I'm going to get rid of this and then that at least frees up a little bit of room in the cupboard okay this is everything on the top shelf I have cookbooks I've never opened um my protein and abundance of water bottles um a couple of little vases and um collection of like cool bags and lunch boxes this one is from business and pleasure it's so beautiful inside that i have my little corkscrew one inside that i have a little corkscrew bottle and this like i don't know lunch box um so i think i could actually put this which is like a wine cooler in there and then maybe even squeeze another bottle in like maybe squeeze the corksicle one in that at least takes one off the shelf um i also don't need the box for the aqua water bottle anymore so i can get rid of that and what else um sadly <laughs> i just feel like i kept this from when we went to see chicago on broadway because i loved it so much obviously but truthfully i don't think i'll ever actually use this so 
I'm going to get rid of it. It's not going to be a big difference, but I feel like it will look less cluttered. All done, absolutely beautiful. Okay, for some reason, I'm feeling like I actually prefer this basket. So I'm going to do the arrangement. I'm gonna pop it on top of the fridge and I'm gonna live with it for a few days before I actually get rid of the white one. Um, so I can change my mind. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing at all, to be honest, but I don't know, I'll just give it a go. And I'm excited because actually when I do this, the shelf will look a lot nicer too. Okay, well this is what it looks like. It kind of does look quite nice. It's like a hamper, like a champagne hamper. Um, it's kind of cute. So, uh, I mean, is this gonna break my fridge? Hi baby. What are you doing there? What are you doing there? Hmm? <laughs> you are so cute. You're always helping mummy, aren't you? Well, Cinderella's modeling it very nicely for us. Um, but this is how it looks on top of the fridge and yeah, I think I like it. I need to live with it. And now I've got this lovely empty shelf to sort of play around with, which is nice. Um, maybe even buy a few new bits from the um, anthropology range. Ooh, guys, I basically just moved everything that was on this surface here up to the shelf. And how spectacular does that look? I'm thrilled. That looks beautiful, so much better than the champagne bottles. Um, and now there's like lots of free space on the counter, which is great for all of the cooking I don't do. And voila, this is the grand finale. This is everything I was able to clear out of my flat today. I feel like it's quite a lot. Remember, everything is quite like condensed as well. And there's some rubbish there as well, some stuff um, to take for my mum, a lot of stuff to donate. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really happy. Plus this ginormous pile of recycling. All of these boxes are literally packed really, really densely with flattened cardboard. It's so heavy um, and I just can't wait to take this out and get rid of it. Oh my God, guys, that is the clear out finished. I am so exhausted. I cannot believe I did all of that in one day, but I feel so good now. It literally feels like my flat is breathing a bit again, which is the best feeling. Um, so I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that it motivated you to do the same thing or maybe you even watched while you were organizing yourself. So do let me know down below in the comments and I will see you all next week. And don't forget to pre-order your flossy dress because it really is your last chance.